So now we uh, are having factored the transfer function. We turn to the phase plot, and we've got uh, again two zeros, three poles total. One that requires a little special attention is right here. When we let s be replaced by j omega, uh, the phase of this is always 90 degrees. So we add a 90 degree offset to what we get with the remaining um, more conventional poles and zeros. Let's go ahead and take a look at the plot. I'll begin by putting in the plus 90 degree term for the zero at zero. Next, the pole at 100 means we've got, sorry, zero at 100. Now the poles, we have a pole at 10, so that gives us something that runs between zero and minus 90 degrees centered at 10. Then we have two poles at 1,000, so they start at 100. Crosses minus 45 here, minus 90 down there. And we have two of these, so I'll indicate that we've got this times two. So we add these together. During the first decade, we start at 90, drop 45 degrees due to this term. This zero kicks in at that point, so that cancels out this one, and we're left with the constant. During the third decade, we have uh, plus 90 dB per decade. Then we have 2 minus 90 dB per decade, so it gives us a net of minus 90 dB. So we're supposed to end up right there. Oops, I have to take that back. Um, the transition is 45 degrees per decade, not 90. So we had plus 45 minus 45 times 2, so we have a net of minus 45 dB, so we're supposed to end up at zero phase. Over the course of the fourth decade, we have two drops of minus 45 degrees per decade, so that gives us a total transition of 90 degrees. And in the fifth decade, everything is constant. So now let's con compare this to the computer-generated plot. So there's our h of s. This is after we've s substituted s as j omega. And jumping forward, here I'm plotting the angle of h of j omega, and then scaling it by 180 over pi to get us in degrees. And there's our finished plot. So you'll notice it looks pretty much the same characteristics where we start at plus 90, end up at minus 90. We get the overall downward transition, and if we did the correction factors on our straight line approximation, we'd be able to get those um, correct little curves and humps and so on. And so we'll leave off by taking a look at the finished straight line approximation. That's approximation. And we're all done.